Welcome to RaiGurkul.com. I'm Deepak Rai and today we're going to talk about very interesting concept in Jira data center version. If you wanted to learn more about Jira, their respective features and functionality, feel free to refer my complete Jira playlist. And if you are a beginner, wanted to start your journey, Jira as a Scrum Master and Project Manager, feel free to refer my course created on Graphy. I will include the URL in description tab so that it will be easy for you to start. Before proceeding further, I want to give you some outlines for the problem statement of today's video. Let's consider John is working with top healthcare industry and his day-to-day -day work involved in his healthcare domain is utilizing Jira for patient care and medical research projects. Current attachment management system faces challenges in Jira data center. The growing volume of files and documents in Jira issues, particularly in patient care, workflows and medical research initiative leads to inefficiency. User encounter difficulty in tracking document revisions, ensuring document security, compliance and managing the overall attachment processes. The need for a more intelligent and streamlined attachment management system termed as smart attachment for data center. I've already created one videos on cloud version as well. If you are using cloud instance, I mean Jira cloud instance, feel free to refer to that video. I will also include the URL in description tab so that it will be easy for you to refer. Smart attachments for data center arises to enhance collaboration, security, and version control within Jira platforms. This is not at all limited. I will explain you from start to end of this video the different functionality of smart attachments for Jira. So smart attachments for Jira is created by Stillsoft European Union which you can find out the complete detail about the product on Atlassian Marketplace site where you can see review, installation summary and this product is available in all three versions like cloud, server and data center. So I've already created one video on cloud. This time we are going to use data center version. In terms of security and compliance, this product is part of cloud security participants and you can see number of installed version on cloud and here if you can see the complete review about the product i will include the cur in descriptions feel free to refer for more analysis to manage attachments and control file efficiently this tool is helping us to store project documents jira file storage, control access to files for users and user groups, avoid routine operations on attachments with Jira automations. Here will help you step-by-step -step process how we can use it efficiently to manage our attachments within data center. This is my instance. If you can see here, this contains lot of attachments within this issues. Here you can see categories are also available like these are the categories which is created. So before proceeding further, if you are referring cloud and data center both the versions, I will give you some differences between these two. The first difference is category. So in cloud versions, we can see labels, but here we have categories. So these are the categories which is listed here documents images pdf technical documents animal images media and all which we can easily create it with an administrator portal where category scheme is the fields to create these categories simply click on create scheme and from here you can add as many as fields if you want post creating this category you will see this category is successfully created here we have to associate if we can associate you can see the project name if you have not associated yet you can associate with respective projects if you want to add it simply click on add it and you will have this options available 
if you want to add any other category here you can add the category name so let's consider you want to add the review as a category for adding the attachment category here you can add the name select the type of issues whichever you want or whichever you will prefer so i am adding these three after that we can add the restrictions based on user groups or team specific restrictions you can add it from this here we can also hide empty fields auto distributions mechanisms where whenever we are using auto distributions we can use this as well so as of now i am keeping as blank click on add then save it this category scheme is going to available here last one i added for review and you can see this review is available based on your requirements you can create as many as category you want and you can use it or categorize your documentations based on the category that's one second is more filter available here we will see more number of filters sort by name sort by date then we have ascending and descending order these are related to ascending and descending we can also see with the thumbnails if if we have any thumbnails least view is also available and if you want to download all we can download it we can also perform bulk operations so once you click on the bulk operations select all those fields and these are the bulk operations are there where you can delete attachments download attachments in bulk move attachments from one category to other sending email and archive to so these are the bulk operations are here in terms in terms of individual attachments here you can see different options where we can upload new versions if we have this is the new features which is not present into our uh, cloud version if you want to rename any of this file you can easily rename it let me consider i want to remove this complete fields here and i want just to keep just youtube thumbnail.png this file got renamed here we also have sending an email if we want to send this to on email we can easily send it edit attachments metadata here we can provide document id if we have let's consider i am keeping the document id is 12 revision is 1.0 and if you want you can provide the link or click save so this file is containing some metadata if i want to add one more file similar to this name i will just browse this and here let me consider i am updating this one click on attach and whenever i will do attachments this file itself is having three times attach if i wanted to rename it this one i can easily do that attachment name click on save will contain this one and here if i want to add any metadata i will be able to do that so let me refresh it i wanted to add some other file with the metadata we will be able to easily do that so this is how we can create id and all additional features we can also perform bulk email options and automatic distributions of file for setting automatic distributions of file we can do multiple things here we want to add some files from the folders like this i wanted to attach this file simply i will click on this and drop it to automatic file distributions folder whenever i will drag and drop this will automatically segregate based on the category which we can set it up from here in the edit sections here you will find it out uh, this options so based on this category distribution category rule it will segregate into folders like xls documents will be categorized in one uh, then here we have pdf so pdf will be categorized into the pdf folder and rest is based on the category if i wanted to just remove everything from here now here from this i wanted to delete everything from 
this issues and you can see everything is deleted successfully this is automatic distributions i want to show it again so from this folder if i wanted to attach this complete folder file it will upload automatically and do the segregations based on the input if you can see here this is a pdf file so it's segregated into the pdf buckets these are the jpg and jpeg images so segregated again with the different buckets and this documentations so for john's perspective this will be very much easier to segregate each of the documentations automatically without touching anything otherwise we have to do it manually we can do it manually consider here if i want to move it to image folder simply i will click on this and this file will be moved successfully even we can drag and drop these two options are available where we can do or drag and drop or we can move it to the respective folder this is another differences between cloud and data center version where we can move to images or respective folder if you want to upload a newer versions we can also do it here we have to select this and click on attach now you can see this contains different name so dot ai2 and this is first one this is how we can maintain or we can easily maintain or john can easily maintain a version system for attachments we can easily perform it category schemes in admin is very much easier where we can maintain each of the categories and set the restrictions which is very much important if you are setting restrictions to one group that person is able to see we don't want to allow the users we want to just upload the image which is visible to the administrator here we can set the group name so accordingly that file won't be available for the user that will be visible for administrator hide empty here if you want fields which is having empty data will not be available so let me do it for uncategorized save this and when i will refresh this field categorized is not available here because that field is empty when we will move this file into uncategorized that will be automatically available that's important one and from here if i will do editing again enable it so even empty field is also available at any point of time if you want to remove any of these category click on remove acknowledge this point and then save it so those categories will be not available and once you are done with the active category you can associate with any of those projects and same category can be easily replicated we can also copy this category with a different name like uh, based on the project name and you can save it for further or you can use it for different projects or different programs if you want to download any of those attachments in zip file you can easily do it here we can easily download all files together other than this we can also perform some automations smart attachments is giving the capability to john where he can segregate this file based on the automations rule which we can set it up through workflows here we can see this is a workflow available if john wanted to set any automations rule based on that this operations will perform he has to click on add it and from here once he will select any of these transactions he can see conditions validators and push functions conditions he can set it up if checks that the category media contains less than or equal to three files validators will be checks that category images is not empty and push functions will be like delete attachments of categories and categorized and the resolutions of the issue will be set to done so if you will navigate this options here you can see these two options are available but when i will move this to media let me refresh it 
your images let me do it now you can see these are the automated whenever all three conditions will be met we can see this automation is running we can also set different type of automations whenever it is required and based on that we can see the status or resolution fields will also get changed that's another important thing we can find it out here find attachments is another interesting fields for the john where we john can differentiate his documentations or search for his documentations based on the user he can search it let's see he wanted to search the attachments uploaded by smart attachment user once he'll click all those files available for him if he wanted to set based on the file name or category or uh, images that also will be able to categorize here you can see all those documentations which are available in category documents that is visible in terms of performing bulk operations so he will also perform the bulk operations from the find attachments like delete or download attachment both the operations are available so let me select all and wanted to download it it will showcase the size of the file and then click on download this file will start downloading it is much more easier for john to maintain all files together with the help of smart attachments for jira in data center and you can see download has started even we can set any uh, file name with the initials or mid contains like oig so if any file will contain oig that file will also available here based on the category based on the user specific and contains value we can filter it out or search it for any products so or any attachments so here we can see these are the operations available for find attachments where we can search it very quickly so that's all from this video let's summarize so as a summary smart attachments for jira all in one solution for john to manage efficient and empowered attachment managers from seamlessly filtering attachments automatic distributions setting access restrictions and automations in jira data center here is your call to actions if you are a jira administrator looking to streamline your attachments like john did create automations and troubleshoot with ease give smart attachments a try click the link in the descriptions to explore the power of smart attachments built by stillsoft if you found this video helpful or have any thoughts don't forget to comment below your feedback is invaluable and of course for more insightful content in jira administrations hit that subscribe button and join our community thanks for watching and happy attachment management